Today's Musical Minute of History, on this day, Jeffrey Ross Hyman, a gangly kid from Queens, New York, who had fronted one of the world's biggest punk bands for over 20 years, passed away after a six-year battle with lymphoma. April 15, 2001, we lost Joey Ramone. And he had challenges. He was born with a parasitic twin growing out of his back that had to be surgically removed. He was diagnosed at 18 with OCD and schizophrenia, and to top it off, his parents split up. A fan of the Beatles, Bowie, the Stooges, among others, young Jeffrey dove into music, took up the drums, and then guitar. He joined the glam punk band Sniper in 1972, left in 1974, and co-founded the Ramones with friends John Cummings and Doug Colvin. Johnny and Dee Dee. The Ramones were a major influence on the punk rock scene in America, but achieved only minor commercial success. Recognition of the band's importance built over the years, though, and they're now represented in many assessments of all-time great rock music. Joey died in the hospital while listening to U2's In a Little While, a month before turning 50. His first solo album, Don't Worry About Me, came out the following year.